Bunch of you have been asking for a tour of the Edison Motor shop, so thought here we go. First off, we got our firewood pile for heating the shop. This is a 1973 Project Kenworth for the spring. Our entire shop is run off of these solar light tower trailers we produce. So we build them, we park them outside of the shop, and then we just plug the shop into the solar light tower trailers. We use our own inventory to power the shop. An old blue parked here. This is actually a through path that loops around the shop and makes a full circuit. The shop is actually longer than it looks from the front because we have two 53 foot uh, dry vans that we also use as part of the shop. This was the original Edison Motor shop. Of course, we have more solar power on top of that for the shop. That's the permanently mounted solar. Uh, we got the Pacific, our low bed, scrap steel bin, more storage. This is a beautiful plywood mock-up of our cab that we used to make sure everything would fit, everything sat the way it should. The model only gets you so far, and then eventually you got to build a template. And this is, now brings us to the other side of the shop. We had that other storage shed. We had this little shipping container storage, and as you can see, we've already outgrown this little container. This little welding bay out in front. This is the inside here. This is the electrical side in the front where we build these solar light tower trailers. On the opposite side, we got a little welding area inside and of course a level three fast charger in the corner. This is our service truck project that we're working on right now. Behind that is where Carl parks. So Carl here, we got our truck parts that we're all laying out. Frame rails, suspension components coming together here. Of course, back into here, we have our original shop. <laughs> These are the 53 foot dry vans. We used to do all our work right in this little area, believe it or not. This is where that first truck was built. Of course, in here, this was another part storage room for all those interior parts we like to keep around. You know, it doesn't look like much, but it's a damn good start to get going. Well, this here is the Edison Motors shop. It really is amazing how much you can get done in a tiny space. We're not spending that money on a fancy shop and huge rent. We're working in a simple little spot behind my house to save that money to put it towards the project. And you don't need a lot of fancy things to get things done. You just need to go at it.